Praise the toy gods. I pre-ordered this almost four months ago. It just arrived to the nerdery. And I cannot wait to share this with all of you. No bubble wrap. That's a little disappointing from a specialty retailer. Oh, this is not what I thought it was. <laughs> All right, well, that's a good surprise. Dude, I'm really taken aback. This is supposed to be my 3-0 Hulkbuster. I didn't even get a notification this ship, but I'm glad to receive it. I thought this felt really, really light. <laughs> For a 3-0 Hulkbuster, you are going to look awesome on my wall, though. Got two boxes today. This one's from GameStop. Let's see what's in it. Oh, sweet. No bubble wrap. I do intend to keep this in card. Just a smidge bent up here on the corner. But I think that can plan out. Otherwise, thankfully, this came out just fine. Look at that, man. Batman animated series Catwoman with swappable head. 100% stain in card, and I'm gonna tack these up on the back wall of the Batcave. Oh, dude, now that I got her, I cannot wait for the Batman, and I kinda wanna order a couple more. Let me know if you guys collect this version of Batman figures. Look at the art on the back, too. That cowl is awesome. Thank the toy gods, we have bubble wrap. Yeah, buddy! The Hulk times two. One to unbox and one for the wall. Oh, dude, he is most glorious. He's gonna make a magnificent offering for the toy gods. Both of these come in great shape, so I'm gonna take a super close look at them just to see which card is best. That one will go on the wall, and then the other one I'll open. Things I noticed when I took this figure out of the box is it is a chonky, hefty figure, man. I'm really excited to scale him with Iron Man and Captain America from this wave. Dude, look at those head sculpts. Classic comic book Hulk, oh, plus the base stand he comes with. And there's the back of the box for those of you that are interested. I'm gonna open up all three figures I've gotten from this wave and do a versus video ranking them. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. It is a most glorious offering. Big, massive pile of loot is here. Let us see what the toy gods have brought us. Always love seeing some nice fresh bubble wrap on top. And this is that good quality kind where it's really dense. Everything looks tightly packed. Oh, the most glorious offering. We have Damian Wayne Robin. For me, this is the definitive Robin, my favorite version of the character. Really excited to add Damian Wayne to the nerdery. Tusken Raider for some troop building behind Boba Fett. Once Road Boba Fett arrives sometime between now and 2024. We also picked up on sale Batman. Hellbat Gold Edition. Can't see it in the packaging, but he has wings behind him. And oh my God, is he glorious. <laughs> this will make a most humble sacrifice to the toy gods for the forthcoming Batcave. Pretty big boxes down there. Let's go with this one first. Wow, this is a big box we have. We are Venom. Marvel Select Venom with three different head sculpts. Dude, oh my God, which one do you choose? Do I pick the multi-head Venom? Eddie Brock with Venom encircling him, or Venom with a long tongue. I think I can eliminate that one because these two are so cool and unique, man. $29 for this figure, Hasbro probably would have charged 40 at a minimum. Finally get to add this to my 90s X-Men display, Marvel Select Sabretooth. Yes, I do have the Toy Biz Legends version, but let's just be honest, that's never coming out of that box, man. I needed a Sabretooth to pair with my Wolverine, I know this will be a little oversized, but I don't mind that he dominates over Wolverine height-wise. For $29, you get this awesome figure in a stand. Oh man, that is so cool on the side of the box. I don't keep the Marvel Select packaging, but I really do like the art they put on these. How cool is the art they threw on the side of the box for Venom and Sabretooth? Let me know in the comments below which figure out of my pile of loot is your favorite pickup. I'm waiting for this moment since I pre-ordered this figure four months ago. It shipped out eight days ago from California. I'm so excited to share this pickup with all of you. Please subscribe to The Nerdery to see the full review 
of this figure. This is my very first, ooh, no bubble wrap. Come on, Entertainment Earth, you're better than that. Oh, but look at that box. I'm honestly a little peeved this didn't come in bubble wrap, Entertainment Earth, for, for the cost, but it looks like the box is in good shape. But everyone, my first 3-0 action figure, Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster from the plastic. Oh man, I, I had no idea what to expect. I've never gotten a 3-0 figure before. And since I canceled over $750 in Hasbro pre-orders and really haven't been pre-ordering anything else, since the Black Chrysanthemum debacle, I thought I could treat myself to this Hulkbuster. Wow, dude. Look at the art on the front of it. I like how it has a nice gold sheen to it. Iron Man Hulkbuster. Oh, wow. This is really cool, man. <laughs> this, just, even the box alone is amazing. Now does, oh, it opens. <gasps> Are you guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, oh man, look at that. Look at that Hulkbuster. Oh, 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 he's incredible. We are most definitely gonna offer this to the toy gods. We finally got a few Black Series pickups. The client, I would like to see the baby. Really excited to add this dude to the collection with Will Rowe Hood's carrying case. Awesome art on the side of the box. Echo is here. Always good to add another clone trooper. I'm keeping all of my Bad Batch clone trooper figures in the box. I like the show, but I'm not in love with it yet enough to open them. But I think it's worth having each one in the series as a collectible item. And what could be the Black Series figure of the year when all is said and done, Rosario Dawson Ahsoka. Oh, dude. I have been so excited for this figure. I love what they do with the lightsaber blades, how it's an opaque blade and not just clear white. Even the lightsaber hilt itself looks amazing. New body sculpt. Her face sculpt is gorgeous, man. Please subscribe to The Nerdery. One, because it honors the toy gods, but two, I'm gonna do a review comparing her with the Ahsoka from Clone Wars and Rebels.